passage is a, a five minute meditation on, on on a life that is a complete story with a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it was meant to sort of invoke reflection in the person who's playing it, reflection about what's important to them, what choices they're making, the fact that their life will have or has had a beginning and a middle already and will have an end. And I use this narrow visual space as like a timeline for someone's life where they might be born on, on the left edge of the screen and die when they reach the right edge of the screen. Also, there's a maze in the game that uh, becomes more and more convoluted as you go down to the south, but up where you start off walking, the maze is pretty easy to navigate. Um, as you go further and further to the south, the more dense the walls become, and you have this very limited little slice of view of the maze, and that um, sometimes you think something that you're going to try out in your life is going to work, and really didn't realize all the factors that were involved, and you kind of get stuck and have to backtrack. But the north corridor has absolutely no obstacles in it. And in fact, if you're up there, you can't even see the maze unless you walk down a little bit, and then you start seeing blocks of the maze. And that you know, allowed people to, um, to not notice the fact that there's more to the game. And a number of those people, once they realize that they could have walked down, and once they had that realization or someone pointed it out to them, they had this sort of forehead slapping moment. It was like, oh my gosh. And then they say, like, that's the same way I'm going through life. <laughs> I never tried pressing the down arrow in my life. There aren't really obvious goals or anything like that. The only, the only really indicate, real indication of what to do is the fact that your score would go up when you moved to this certain direction. And I also found it peculiar that, you know, as you're, as you're younger, when you see ahead, you can, you can kind of see what's coming ahead, but it's all blurry and, and out of focus. And then as you get older, I notice your character moves along to the other side of the screen, and then you see in the past, it's, it's, uh, or behind you, I guess, it's, it's blurry and unfocused, and uh, you can no longer see into the future there. When I reached the end of the game, I, I realized that you know, anything I'd done in the game was really pointless. Uh, I spent some time navigating through the maze there, and, and uh, then it just it didn't matter anymore. There's no, I was expecting there to be like a high score or something, but uh, nothing like that. How I felt when the wife character just turned into a tombstone, I was like, I kind of stopped for a second. I was like, what just happened? I look and it's a tombstone. There's a little cross on it and the music is kind of slowed down. And I, I've noticed over time that I've lost the hair and then it got gray and the clothing changed and I just, so I had to keep going, seeing if there was more treasure, and then died. It was interesting and it was challenging. Uh, not so much, I would say it, it wasn't fun, but it was challenging. Uh, like I, I saw how if you were playing it with just the one, uh, without meeting the, the lady in it, you'd be able to get through some smaller places in the maze, so then as, since you're controlling the men, um, if you are, if you do have a wife, you have to make concessions to where you want to go. If you're just a single man, woman, you can, you have more choices per se. But uh, as far as going in different places, tighter places kind of thing, but as a couple, you have to, um, there are only certain places that you can really go together. The fact that they were able to put across a narrative without dialogue, without narration, without words, that was really, that was, that was the most outstanding part of the game. And the fact that you can write that story as you play. I don't know what the message was so much as what I took from it, and I just, I don't know, I, I liked how my game played out. I found a wife, w adventured around with her, found some treasure chests, and got old and died. Uh, the message I got out of it was that, um, you know, everyone lives and dies, and, and life is, 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 you know, it can pass you by. That's really, that's really it. Life is short, and that you really should, should um, make the decisions that you make as well as you can. Make the best decisions that you can at the time with the knowledge that you have.